No reporter for a news organization as sizable and as important as CNN should be relying on the briefings to get news. The, a, a reporter, <laughs> ah, a report, a CNN correspondent can get his or her calls returned. New York Times reporter, Washington Post reporter, Fox News correspondent. We can get our calls returned at the White House. It's for the lo lots and lots of dozens of smaller news organizations right. that cover the White House on a daily basis. And the briefing is really kind of there for them to give them a chance to get a question, get it answered, and, and to learn sort of what the schedule for the day is and the rest of it. Um, it's, you know, you, if you had a really good question that really led somewhere, you'd never ask it in the briefing because you don't, <laughs> want, you don't want to inform the entire rest of the press corps what you're working on. It's kabuki, so it's, it, theater. it's it's In this hothouse atmosphere with this, with this antipathy toward this president as strong as it is now, it's a kind of a form of virtue signaling to be asking tough questions right. in the briefing, right? And, you know, it seems to me that the, the, there's no point in beating up on the briefer. If you want to ask tough questions, you know, try to ask them with the president. Exactly. Right?